Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Frontiers. We are here on Chaos Island. And uh, how do I get to that purple coin over there? Um, it's not letting me attack this thing. up here and now yeah I've marked this challenge down here it's gonna fill in quite a bit of the map although it's oddly selective I've been thinking for a while now how odd it is that it fills in sort of a scattering of map squares instead of just one solid area not too sure what to think about that. Ah, it looks like it wants me to go here. Access requirement, 18 more keys. Wow, really, 18? Versus this one, I can actually unlock. And let's see, I'll try to get to this challenge next. It's kind of, sort of, on the way. Although, considering the differences in... Um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Elevation. You can't be too sure that it's really a straight line. Anyway, this one next. Talk to Tails on the way, if we can. And then backtrack in this sort of direction. And, I need to find more bosses who I can fight. Because I need more of those gears that allows me to open the cyberspace challenges. Because after all, if I can't open the cyberspace challenges, I can't get those keys to open the Chaos Emeralds. Okay, well, let's actually try this challenge. Eh. Okay, no biggie. So anyway, that's the way I'm heading. Okay, it sent me in the correct direction at least. all of that, see what we got down here. Hmm. It's kind of interesting looking. <laughs> 
Tails memory tokens. Now, Tails was supposed to be around here somewhere. I don't see him offhand. Hmm. He's sort of back in that direction, according to the map. But yeah, I don't see him offhand. Oh, there he is. Need four more of those wrenches, huh? Where can I get some? Up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was, was missing that swing, wasn't I? Where I wanted to go. I was trying to get that wrench. Don't have enough to talk to him though. Still need two more. Ah, come on. Maybe this will give me a few. me one more. One more. Maybe these guys have it. Cocos. Probably not worth all this effort, but. Eh, whatever. Okay, let's just take care of this challenge. And I can find the final memory token to talk to Tails in a bit. to do, darn it.
jump rope. I guess just <clears throat> last ten seconds without touching that uh, red rope. Memory tokens, please? No. That would take me off to that challenge. Uh, I just want one more memory token. Game, come on. Just one. Alright. That did the trick. Sent me back the... Away from tails, though. Ah, no. Oop. Okay, now tails was up there. Take this grind rail and then jump off up at the top. Here we go. Technology properly. Hmm. It doesn't look like this was a projectile weapon. Ah, so no ancient cannonballs then, huh? Wait, are you saying this is a beam weapon? Like on the egg carrier? Exactly. From what I can tell, it has its own battery, independent of an outside power source. Moreover, its capacity is ludicrous. It could level a mountain. It's almost up there with the Eclipse Cannon. But that was plugged into the Ark's reactor. This is freestanding. The Ancients' designs are amazing. Yeah, that's cool and all, but... I mean, they built these things to shoot at something. Wow. What kind of enemy takes that much firepower to stop? And apparently... didn't get stopped anyway. Uh. I, aha, I saw something shining in front of it. All right, then. Hmm, what else can I reveal around here? I mean, there's still some... Oh, there was a challenge right over there. But how do I get to it? I was going to double back and head up to this one. But since we're more or less in this sector of the map, let's see if we can get down here. After all, if I double back that way, then I'll have to double back this way, and you know, might as well just take care of this now if I can. See that coming. Yeah, somehow I knew that was going to be a jump bumper to get me up to one of those things. Hey, another spider. As I was saying, I need more of those gears. And I can get one from this guy. Hey, a vault key. With 
see how this goes. Ah, darn it. Boy, that took away nearly 200 points. Okay, yeah, we're doing this again. Lightsabers! These guys aren't so bad, really. And there's the next one. Okay. There's a grind rail that looks like it'll get me in that general direction. Let's not miss all the pickups while I'm rushing on over, though. I can hear a uh, Coco over here. There we go. Why did Sonic laugh right there? Oh well. That doesn't particularly matter. Exactly, am I supposed to handle this guy? Let's see. Maybe I can hang on to that what looks like a bar between his feet and do something with that? Training simulator. Maybe I should open the training simulator and see what it says. Parry to bounce the enemy's beam attack. Where's, where's, oh, there it is. Okay, well, now I know how to deal with those guys. Let's 
It's a fishing spot! Ho ho! Just stumbled right into it. One of the benefits of exploring. I should have realized that sooner. But even though I consciously knew that this was supposed to be an open sandbox game, I didn't really you know, make that connection. Hey, Sonic. Welcome back. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Wow, four coins to fish here. Well, I have tons of them. Why not? Okay, there's quite a few fish in there at the moment. Fair number of tokens. Wow. Those things live on the bottom of very deep trenches in the ocean, don't they? What's it doing up here? Ah well, video game logic. Ah, this is a good one. It's sparkling. Alright, gold card. I was hoping for one of the fast travel scrolls, but... Gold cards are okay. Salmon. Already got that. But hey, more tokens. Another tadpole. Meh. Nah. see it sparkling, but there are two red rings. Eh, okay, snapping turtle. 24 tokens, wow. I believe I've gotten that before. Two red rings, but no sparkle. Whoa. <laughs> An ancient tablet, really? Okay. It's a twig, and you get 24 tokens for that, too. Huh. Normally, in fishing, hooking a twig isn't very desirable. Oh, a sparkly one. That's a good sign. Eh, another gold token. Gold card. Hoping for the fast travel scroll. Yeah, oh, another Nemo, okay.
sparkly one. Aha! The Elder Coco Scroll. Excellent. Flounder, okay. I've eaten flounder before. It's actually pretty good. It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, so you have to, you know, add stuff during the cooking process. And more fish, okay. Whoa, 24 tokens for that. But yeah, flounder is a decent fish. Good for eating. You know, as long as you're good at cooking and adding sauces after the fact. Four tokens for an acorn. A twig was 12 tokens, but an acorn's only four. I think an acorn would be worth more since you can conceivably get a whole tree out of that one. Oh, a shiny one. Ha <laughs> ha The other scroll. Okay. Let's do two more fishings and then spend our hard-earned prizes. Starfish. Huh. A black bass. I think I already got that before. to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Uh, trade tokens. Spend these on egg memos. Okay. Get a couple portal gears. I only have one. And a few lost cocoa. Two of these. Why not? Mm. Eh, some more lost cocoa. That should do it. And I have so many tokens, I might as well get a few more egg memos. That'll do for now. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. All right, let's check the fishopedia. Snapping turtle, a large turtle that can grow over two and a half feet long and 240 pounds. It's commonly found in marshes and swamps. That's you know kind of small, two and a half feet long, but really heavy. Flounder, a fish with a mottled, pebble-like appearance. It dwells at the bottom of rivers and ponds where its skin serves as camouflage to protect it from enemies. But like I said, pretty good for eating. You know, as long as you have an adult flounder, its flesh is pretty dense and thick. And if you're good at seasoning, then you can cook it up, make some nice sauce for it, and yeah, it's pretty good. Anglerfish, a deep sea fish with a rounded body. Its name refers to its use of the luminescent lure on its head to attract prey. Pufferfish, a fish with two distinct appearances. 
Though it usually looks like an ordinary fish, it puffs up when danger is present. Crab, an aquatic crustacean. Though known for its sideways walk and sharp claws, some species are adept at moving forward and backward or swimming. Huh. The two back legs on this particular one look like machine parts. Oarfish, a fish with a very long body. A striking appearance may have inspired tales of legendary sea creatures. And or dragons, one thinks. Twig, a twig used to build or repair things. It could also be fuel for a fire if it wasn't so waterlogged. Acorn, the seed of an oak tree. Some are round while others are long and thin. A somewhat lackluster catch in a nutshell. Yeah, but wait until it actually grows into that oak tree. Starfish, a flat sea creature covered with spiny skin. It moves across the seabed using countless tube feet on its underside. Starfish are sometimes eaten or used in traditional medicine. They don't make very good eating, though. At least, I've never tried it, so eh, maybe they do. But I've seen real live starfish, and they don't... They're not very appetizing, in my opinion. <laughs> Ancient Tablet. An inscribed stone tablet. It has the same message in three languages, including mysterious glyphs, so it could serve as the key to deciphering them. So basically, this is the Rosetta Stone. Okay, so that's all. Voice logs. Some folk have to try it. It will be something. I don't believe I'm deploying my sage is performing at peak efficiency. Makes me wonder where I went wrong with Orbot and Cubot. Not only is she taking control of the Ancients' network, but she's harassing Sonic as well. I love it! <laughs> she seems to be having a change of heart, though. Despite her best efforts, Sage can't seem to control the Titans. Fooey. She can prompt them to act, but something is blocking her from assuming total control. Yeah, it looks like the Ancients still have control over them or at least the memories of the ancients i'm still not clear on what's going on there but the two that we faced and beaten you know looked like there were ancients inside of them directing their efforts sage keeps running the numbers by me and it's getting tedious yes the power that wiped out the ancients was formidable yes unleashing it on this world would be catastrophic but I'm a genius! Once I'm out of here, I'll find a way to handle it. Better yet, weaponize it against Sonic! <laughs> Sage has been crucial to my survival here in cyberspace. Early warnings of hostile entities, guiding me past firewalls, keeping me updated on progress in the real world. She, she's the best. She. It, it, it's a program. An adorable program, a very personable program, a... a uh, I wonder if she has a preference. Huh. That shows an unexpected bit of... humanizing thought from the main series villain. Hmm. Certainly, it's deeper than, say, Bowser in the Mario series. It's not the kind of thing that would even occur to him. Hmm. Well, interesting question. I wonder if Sage does have a preference there. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. I think we're done here for now. Okay. Now, there's a... Draw in the map challenge somewhere on this little island. We have to find that. Fast travel unlocked. Yes, I know that. Where's the challenge? Okay. The 
behind me. Tails is here too. I can speak to him. But it's not letting me speak to him for some reason. Oh, there we go. Yo, Tails. Can you tell if there's anything special about the ruins with this symbol? I can't be sure without a proper analysis, but it doesn't seem remarkable. What is remarkable is the data retention after all these years. The corruption is negligible, and the maps are so accurate. Not to mention the way they can imprint the map data directly into the user's mind. It's hard enough explaining yourself to your peers, let alone some long-distance civilizations. Yeah, too bad they can't give us all the answers to the island's mysteries. You're right, though. It's pretty amazing to have a civilization based on brain power. Huh. That actually starting to sound like something Robotnik might comment on. Robotnik. I still use that old name. Eggman. Let's see. Is there an order that I'm supposed to hit these things in? Come on, let me, there we go. Let me out, I was going to say. Let's see. Is there an order that I'm supposed to hit these things in? Does it even matter? Okay, let's just try it. From start to finish, I was about to say. to get up there, so let's... Hmm. <laughs> Saw that coming. I had to try it, though. Oh, there's another one over there. Perfect. So it seems like it doesn't really matter what order I did it on the ground. I just need to get those four so I could get up in the air there. Alright. Now... Really ought to check out that large building. Ah, another one of those. Okay, between that and what I got in the fishing hole, I'm sitting pretty with those. Catch completion, 56%. Hmm. I still wonder about the percentage completion. 
does each fishing hole have its own set of fish that can only be got there? Because while I've been here, I definitely caught some stuff that I got at the previous fishing holes. Well, let's just check out this island a bit more. That's where the Chaos Emerald must be. Way the heck in that direction. Let's check the map here. So I've fairly well cleared out things down here. Hmm. Looks like there's another island over here, though. I'll bet there's a challenge on this island that draws in this area. I should try to find out what I can do there. And then here's another Tails icon. Alright, let's... Let's go ahead and warp here. Get this done, and then see if I can talk to Tails over there. 53 on both, okay. Tails. I'm going in more or less the correct direction. Stuck in another one of these sideways. There we go. Alright, so where is he? Up there, it would appear. Is there another way up where I don't have to use that challenge? That track? Looks like that actually is my only real option for getting up there, at least as far as I can see. Well, fine. <laughs> go back that way. He was right there. Ah. That's the way. Well, 
Hmm, that didn't do it. That didn't do it either. Ah, okay. There's a cyberspace challenge here. Let's see what it is. That might be the way over. Okay. No, let's do the challenge. Or at least let's open the challenge. Three dash one. Okay. This is kind of what I was looking for, really. All right. Twenty rings this time, with all the standard other stuff. The fact that the ring requirement is so low makes me think this one's going to be kind of tough. <laughs> Oh, I missed the, the red coin, red ring. I am so completely turned around about which direction I'm going. Oh, wow. I even got S rank. I just missed that one red ring. Well, I can't leave that one behind. Well, that was careless. What? Man, I am messing this up something fierce. I did so well the first time. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
I cannot believe how badly this is going. Where was that red ring? There it is. Finer details of control for this thing still kind of escape me. Oh, go on, Sonic! Get a move on! Whew. Okay. Well, that was kind of ridiculous, but... So I got all of the uh, keys for this one. I can't believe that I did so well on the first run, missing just that one red ring, and then totally messed it up on the second. But at least I did get... everything. Okay, so that red one now... In addition to the blue one that's been shining over there for a while. Oh no, this is... Hmm. So how do I get up there? Where is Tails? There he is, okay. Finally. Sonic, do you think I can change? What do you mean, like... Like a tire? Or the tornado's engine oil? No. I mean... When I was lost in cyberspace, I was confronted by another version of myself. He said I was just a follower. That I couldn't think or act on my own. I wanted to argue, but I couldn't bring myself to say anything back. I worry he's right and that I haven't changed at all. Well, whatever. Some spooky cyber copy hasn't seen you in action. I've seen it firsthand. You've definitely grown, and I know you'll keep on working hard. Hmm. So the sidekick worries that being a sidekick is all he is. Oh, 
up. I have gotten myself locked in another two-dimensional challenge thing. And I don't want to be in a... Oh, well. Pretty sure I've already done this one. Locked to two dimensions. Excellent. Oh, well, there was a Coco there. I saw it at the last moment, but I'd already pushed the jump button. Okay, so there's two Chaos Emeralds off in that general direction. Ah, but we'll see, what else do I want to do? There's a discussion with Tails right here. And I definitely need to unlock this challenge here. And what was I saying before, that there had to be a challenge here on this island? Hmm. There's a lot of things to do. Well, hmm, I feel like this ought to be my next goal over here, because, again, if I don't do it now, then I'm just going to have to backtrack later. So I should go over this direction, see if I can find a way across. Let's drop another beacon, uh, let's say, here. about to say, hey, there's a, one of those one of those long travel grind rails. Looks like maybe it was going off in that direction, but then suddenly turned around and went off that way. So, yeah. We are not going to be using it. What is this thing? Like there's one of those two-dimensional challenge tracks that go along goes along that pipe, but which direction does it go? Does it come from there or does it go that way? Big old crater in the middle here. That's where I'm heading. There's one of those flying bosses over there. And there was one off in that direction, too. Ah, don't want to use that. Oh, look, there's that door. Okay, there's the big flying bosses around here. And then there's another one over there.
Have I been here? I was about to say this place looks kind of familiar, but they, uh, everywhere looks is kind of samey here on this island. I can't really say for sure if I've been here yet. And I suppose... Yeah, I've, I have been here in this general area. Because this is one of the fill-in-the-map challenges, and it's done. Direction. That's good. What? How did that knock me up here? Never mind. Ah, oh, missed. That's where I want to get. Hmm. I don't see anything from this angle that looks like it might take me off in that direction. Hmm. Maybe I do have to go around. First... Alright, let's see here... Okay, I've been here... Because there's that challenge that's been done. That was the jump rope challenge. Isn't this the one I basically started the episode with? Well, I come full circle. Literally. Circling around this. Okay, let's see if this does the trick. this. Well, I want that anyway. Yeah, that didn't get me towards my goal. Hmm. Okay, I think this one's a bust. I don't see anything that takes me over to that island. At least not from here. Now that's looking promising, but where does that start? Yeah, it looks like it starts over there. Yeah, it looks like it starts over here. Hmm. All right. Well then. I don't see a convenient place to warp. Well, it's telling me to go get the Chaos Emerald, and this Chaos Emerald's been waiting for me for a while now. Let's warp to this guy. I need to drop off all these Cocos I found anyway. Let's see. Raise rings to level 20. Time for speed. Oh, 
I'll raise this to 25. And then I'll just keep leapfrogging like that. I wonder how many Cocos you need to raise one of these stats. many you need. I certainly had enough for a lot of this. More rings now. Cocos. Oh, that's well over ten levels that I've raised now, just from this one session alone. Ah, there we go. All done. Okay, now I have to go across that way. Get the Chaos Emerald, and I think that'll be the end of the episode. the Titan, or rather it found us. Well, what will you do? The best I can. What, one of those things? What? Suddenly we have a squid? I guess I was lying when I said that this is the end of the episode. Still a bit more to go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shoot. 
I guess I should have waited to get the Chaos Emerald next episode. <laughs> um, how did I dodge it before? I dodged it the first time, barely without even trying. Almost without even trying. Do I have to parry? Can I parry when I'm on this thing? No, I can't. How did I do that the first time? Man, this is getting irritating. boosted at just the right moment. And that got me past it. way to fail that. <sighs> now I'm stuck on this again. I thought getting the Chaos Emerald was going to be the end of this episode. This is ridiculous. And how convenient that this squid just happens to be here. longer than I wanted to. Yeah, I just have to boost at exactly the right time. I just haven't figured out when exactly the right time is.
No! Ah, I jumped too early and didn't get up on that platform. <sighs> this is getting really irritating. Why does it have to send me back to the start every single time? Can't there be checkpoints along this thing? There really ought to be checkpoints along this thing. Okay, this is... No, not quite yet. Finally! Man, that was a pain. So? Impressive, right? Within expected parameters. Annoying more than impressive. Fine tails, eh? Looks like it's that way. Ah, but there's a challenge really close by. At least in a straight line, as the crow flies. <sighs> Boy, that was irritating. No checkpoints, having to start over from the very beginning every time you failed. Just really irritating. Uh, well, it's over now, and so is the episode. <sighs> Viewers, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Sonic Frontiers. In the next episode, well, we'll go up there first, or at least we'll try to get up there first, and then we will go talk to Tails. There might be more stuff between those two points, but... That's basically the plan as it stands right now. See you later.